with 19 subjects to revise in an exam where 200 questions will be the rank deciders the one who will have all the answers to the tip of his tongue will be the winner now revising all those 19 subjects before the exam is impossible or is it once upon a time in a land of computer exams there was a giant called neat pg every year thousands of brave medicos would set out on a quest to conquer this giant they armed themselves with textbooks and notes and more coffee than any human should ever consume but still many struggled because the giant wasn't just about knowing things it was about recalling them under pressure in a situation where time is ticking like a hollywood time bomb the medicos need a new kind of weapon the one that would allow them to visualize not just memorize that's where dams visual treat comes in and i'm going to tell you everything from how to use it why it works how it works how to add and enhance it and the most practical way that it will help you increase your score so what exactly is a dams dvt well it's not just a book it's a visual storytelling tool for medical concepts let's first start with how to use it remember it is a revision tool so first you need to read and understand your whole syllabus at least once your main weapon is the notes of the 19 subjects that you have made throughout mbbs step 1 read revise and understand the concepts of all the 19 subjects all throughout the mbbs that you have made your own notes of step 2 give a grand test now this will be your baseline score on which you are going to build up your studies if this score is below 80 questions you need to go back to your main notes and start revising them again and if this score is above 80 questions let's go start with dvt so how to start the dvt you will first need to watch the lectures it is more like a workbook so fill it up with your own handwriting don't get a copy from someone else use your own hands and your own eyes This is very important because you will be personalizing the contents of the book by adding various mnemonics to it. Also, writing once is like reading it twice, so it will help you memorize it easier. This book is created in such a way that subjects like anatomy have a lot of diagrams with a lot of space around them so that you can add your own points around those areas. For example, after going through the DVT lectures and giving a grand test, I figure out that I have made a mistake in a question about let's say anatomy of the heart. I got to know that I don't remember much about the heart. So, I will open my main notes. I will read all the important points about the heart. Then I will add all those points that I forgot from those main notes into the DVT so that I can revise them a day before the exam. That way you will curate and personalize the book to strengthen your own weaknesses. In this book, the subjects like medicine and OBGYN are given in a tabular format. While reading through it, The tabular format will help you rule out the options in the exam. Always remember in competitive exams like NEET, PG and INICT, the questions are not difficult. The options are. The examiner knows that you have the knowledge about the question, so he will form the options in such a way that two options are easy to rule out and the other two are very close differentials of each other. Always remember, read every option and think for yourself. why is it not the correct answer compare and contrast between options and rule out the wrong ones whatever is left is the right answer for you this is how you rule out and tick answers in the exam hall now let's come to the subjects that are hard to remember starting with pharmacology for this dr thiru sir has written every drug classification around an image so remember the image that way you can recall the classification as well connecting it visually the science behind it is really simple here's a little secret your brain loves pictures studies show that humans are wired to process the visual information 60000 times faster that's right 60000 times that's why we remember the face that we saw 10 years ago but we cannot recall what we read the other day so by turning knowledge into images dvt taps into this natural strength of your brain and you can recall things better so by turning concepts into images dvt taps into that natural strength of your brain 
by converting concepts into images making it easier to recall the material when it really matters similar method is followed for other subjects like microbiology pathology surgery etc now let's go subject wise i've already talked about anatomy earlier for physiology all the pyqs are covered but you might want to add a few explanations of the concepts that you might be weak in that's completely up to you for biochemistry reading through the subject is already tough You might think that you have to remember all the cycles like glycolysis, Krebs cycle, etc. No, no, no. Please don't hurt your head like that. It's better to write all the key points about the cycle around it and read only the parts where MCQs are asked. This advice is only and only for the competitive exams. Remember, you have main notes to understand. So keep your DVT as concise as possible and do not add any unnecessary information to it. I will advise you to add all the diseases related to a particular cycle in biochemistry around it to form a visual memory so that you can revise it easier later on. In the end, take a single A4 size paper and write all the keywords to the MCQs and answer to it. Exactly 10 minutes before entering the exam hall, you are going to read this exact paper. So all the potential weird factual questions are there in your mind. and you don't go blank general pathology is covered in a similar tabular format with all the genes and chromosomes and the mutations there it is all at one place so that you can revise and remember and recall them all at once all the hematology is covered in the form of flow chart so that you can arrive at a differential diagnosis easily don't add any new information here as diluting the flow chart will only make it more confusing if you end up coming across a new information and you want to add it Please do add so around the images of that relevant disease given further in systemic pathology. Going ahead I have already talked about pharmacology. It is going to be hard to remember no doubt but you will do it with visual clues. Remember that we made a short page for biochemistry. You need to make a same page for pharmacology where you will write all the things that you forgot so that you can revise and recall it at the last minute exactly before the exam. and keep it fresh in your head i wrote antimicrobials and anti cancer drugs in my page although i could not revise it in the last minute because i was panicking too much don't make this mistake microbiology is similar in images and i will suggest you to make a page similar to biochemistry and pharmacology here as well do revise all these three pages right before the exam so that you don't go blank in the exam hall and you can solve all those weird factual questions in fmt psm of them you don't need to add much of the information as most of the things are covered personally i find these subjects a bit bland and boring so i don't bother reading through that much i just learn whatever is given there and solve the questions that's all deepak karora sir will teach you all there is about how to read faster and faster in his section for ent so make sure you make a habit of reading as fast as possible so that you can revise as much as possible quickly with active recall Medicine, surgery, OBGYN, and peds form the major chunk of this book as well as the exam that you are going to give ahead. And no matter how many times you read it, there is always going to be something that you are going to miss in these subjects. So whenever you start reading DVT, start with these subjects. Doctor Deepthi Ma'am teaches how to remember all this information and how to ignore the unnecessary stuff and not to fall into FOMO while going through her OBGYN section. Doctor Sumesh Sir will give you his insight about the changing exam pattern. You must have noticed how every question in the recent NEET PG especially in phase 2 was related to radiology in one way or another. I am sure Dr. Sumesh sir will help you crack that code as well. There are specialized teachers to teach in every subject so don't worry much about it. The information there will be 100% accurate. The short subjects as the name suggests are covered very shortly. Dr. Sachin sir has covered psychiatry in just 9 pages. That's pretty much that you need to know and add in his book. Now I'll tell you how to read it. Don't think of it as just a pretty book with pictures. This is a hard core study material designed to be aligned with the NEET PG syllabus and used in succession with your main notes of the subjects. In fact, you might just find that flipping through the visual treat for a few minutes gives you more clarity after you read the main notes of the subject. Now, if you are anything like me, you might have had moments in your NEET PG preparation where you are convinced that your brain is just which cheese with all the holes and no substance. We have all been there where we doubt our own abilities. That's where DVT helps. It is like our own personal tutor who happens to be an artist as well, except it doesn't charge an hourly basis. Plus, it will not judge your coffee addiction at all. I remember back in the day when I had to rely on the old school methods like textbooks and notes. We would spend hours and hours on the same material trying to remember those piles and piles of books, and with some sort of luck, I could remember a part of it. 
but the things have changed. You can actually revise the whole syllabus in a day. I know it's hard. Let me explain. The first reading of this book will take you a week. To be honest, it is quite bulky. So it might take you two weeks as well. With each quick succession, the reading this book will be faster and faster for you. There will be pages that you have already memorized that you will cross with a pen and only go to the pages that you are yet to recall. And right before the exam, you will be able to finish this book in one day. And trust me, you will thank yourself when you sit in the exam hall and a question on biliopancreatic fistula comes in and you will recall the exact image that is present in that book and give the right answer. So how do you make the most of this book? Here's a trick. Don't use it like a textbook. Use it like a quick reference book. It's a last minute revision tool or when you're tired of reading long, long texts from your main notes. Flip through the book before the bed, during your break in the internship, right after waking up in the morning or when you're bored of reading your notes. It's a perfect tool to keep your images and concepts fresh in your brain and retain the information longer. Don't forget to combine it with your main study material. I will emphasize that it is a revision tool. Your main notes will be there for your understanding. Use this visual treat to reinforce what you have already learned from the main notes and let the images fill in the gaps. The more you engage with it, the more easier it will get. Plus, let's be honest, studying for neat PG is a marathon and not a sprint. It's really easy to get burnt out. So why not make it as fun as we can? Add crazy mnemonics to this book, make it as short and fun as possible. Please don't stress out, please don't take much burden, you'll do really well. Need PG is tough, but with the right tools, you'll definitely conquer it. See ya, may you retain all that you read in this brain. I'm rooting for you. Subscribe to me for more such videos. I'll see you again. Bye bye.